Hi, my name is Lovina Sylvia Chidi, and today I'm going to show you uh, the Power BI service. We are going to look at some data, and we're just going to use some functionality in Power BI service. So a lot of people keep saying, what's Power BI service? I mean, this is Power BI desktop. If we launch that, you can see that's the desktop version of Power BI. And uh, you can do lots of visualizations here. You know, you can get some data. Once you get that data, you can have a look at your data. You can have a look at relationships. And last of all, you can start writing your reports. So what, what is Power BI service? And I say to people, Power BI service is just the web version of Power BI desktop. So if we type Power BI service in Google here in a browser, you can see it says signing with Microsoft Power BI. And if I click on that, it says, do you already have an account? Make sure you're registered to use Power BI service and you have a license, or you can use the free version. And you can see this is the web version of Power BI service. It pretty much almost looks like the Power BI desktop uh, version. You can see this is my Power BI desktop. Uh, you can see this is my workspace here. I have already done some sampling of data and some quick insights into various data sets. So you can see uh, how the front looks like. It gives me the option to watch some videos. Um, you can see here are some settings, like I've got an admin portal. I can manage gateways. I can manage embed codes for maybe SharePoint. And if we expand my workspace, you can see it shows you what dashboards I have, what reports I have, what workbooks I have, and what data sets I have. If we look at data sets, for example, um, you can see I have some data sets here already, you know, on the right hand side, business units. Um, so if I click, I can click on various data sets and on the right hand side, you will see the fields. If I actually click maybe on the customer uh, profit, profitability sample data set, you can see I have like file, view, reading pane. Uh, I've got lots of options, um, mobile layout, you know, so many options here. Um, I can ask questions, I can draw a text box in, in my reports, I can use the ask questions, I can use edit interactions. So if I use slicers, I can say, do those slicers affect my report here? Um, I can look at different workbooks like in Excel, so you can see that looks really nice. That's a workbook in Excel. Uh, that I've brought in. I can unpin and unpin, pin and unpin dashboards. So you can see here on your right side, that's a slicer, so I can slice by industry. And then I can get various different readings in my graph. So that's the energy uh, slicer, you can see. I'm getting various different read readings. Uh, I'm now slicing by financial. And I can have a look at other reports. So you can see those are reports uh, that I've already brought into the Power BI service. I've, got, I've also got the option to look at different apps. I don't have any apps at the moment. That's another subject for another time. We can get data. So I'll show you how that works. And we can get data from databases, from services from my organization or just, you know, files. And if I click on that, you see it gives me the option to get it from OneDrive, from SharePoint websites. I could look at local data. And if I look at local data, I've got some example data sets here. Let's take one 
uh, this museum revenue anal analysis CSV file let's import that see how fast it is it has already imported um, or almost imported it's just taking a few seconds uh, and fantastic it's done that and it says your data set is ready view the data set and you can see that is the data set um, and uh, we can start to play around with this data set. So now I've got three data sets. Uh, let's quickly get another, let's get another file very quickly before we start playing around. And uh, you can see it's importing it. And it's imported it. Um, here I can have a look at different dashboards. I can look at reports. Well, I only have two reports at the moment. You can see I have actions. If you just hover your mouse around Power BI service, you can see share, view the metrics reports, how many people are using your reports, analyze that data set in Excel, Quick Insights, View Related, and you can even delete. If we go to my data sets and we just go to the museum, you can see I've got loads of options. And one of the great things about this data set is that um, we can have a look at quick insights which is another topic but here if you actually click on that you can see quick insights now i'll show you how quick insight works and quick insights is when you allow power bi look at your data and it will sample and look at all the columns and then power bi will decide hang on I think I know what kind of reports you should be writing. Now let's see what Power BI has decided with my museum revenue spreadsheet. Let's just have a quick look. So isn't that amazing? These are quick insights done by an ill inbuilt functionality in Power BI. So it can give me an idea of what kind of reports I need to be presenting. This is really, really useful. And this is a quick overview of the Power BI service. Thank you very much.